Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we have for you. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. I love to see that. Um, I definitely feel like things are changing for you. I feel like they've been changing for a while now, but it seems like there are a lot of things that are finally starting to uh, fall into place here for you. It almost feels like we're kind of nearing the aftermath of the biggest changes. So I feel like the world card coming through here is kind of like the universe is saying, welcome to the, to the new world, right? Like welcome to the beginning of this new chapter for you. You've already tied up the loose ends of the past. You've already done what you needed to do. You've been preparing yourself. This is where it starts, right? This is the beginning. And we're starting out with a bang here with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're pretty excited about all the things that are going on. There just could be some feelings of maybe a little bit of stress, right? Because it feels like there are a lot of things that you're taking care of, both physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, right? Like there's all kinds of things happening in every dimension. Um, and that could be a little taxing. So we have the Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the World. So I feel like that Nine of Wands really um, depicts that energy of I'm not giving up, right? I, I'm I've just kind of arrived, right? I've arrived, I'm here, I'm ready to get things started, but I'm a little tired. So I do feel that there needs to be a moment, um, you know, whenever possible, right, that you are able to cater to self. Because that five of pentacles tells me that you've been spreading yourself very thin, or that you just have a lot of things that have kind of built up over time because you were getting ready for this new beginning that now you're seeing it and you're like, oh man, I have to do all these things. So could be things like you know some errands or chores or maybe stuff around the house right that maybe you've had to put off um in order to take care of this new beginning and you know kind of be prepared it feels like that could just be the one thing where you're like oh man you know i either you wish you had some help to get all things sorted um or it just could be a lot right for anyone i think that you know when you have to put some things aside um it can be difficult to believe that it's all possible. And maybe that's even also what that Nine of Wands is saying. Like you maybe are having trouble uh, believing that you can do all of the things. But I feel like the universe wants to instill that confidence in you, especially with this Wheel of Fortune, because a lot of the things that you are doing are going to lead to a bigger and brighter and happier future. So it's going to be all worth it in the end. We just need to find that healthy balance, right, of doing a lot of things for the good but then also reminding yourself that too much of a good thing could be bad so i feel like the eight of wands is you could be receiving that you know divine knowledge right like those downloads maybe your your body is you know talking to you or your intuition and by body talking to you i mean like maybe you're feeling that exhaustion not really understanding where it's coming from because normally you're used to doing all kinds of things i feel like you are just really being very much in tune with yourself at this time and the Eight of Wands could also mean that you are receiving very important communication at this time that could just be adding maybe to the stress, right? It's like you just landed to wherever you need to be and then all of a sudden you're getting phone calls. People are trying to reach out to you. They're trying to schedule meetings and you're just like, whoa, I just got here, right? I just finished my traveling. I have a little bit of jet lag. Let me, you know, recoup. So for some of you, this could be spiritual jet lag, right? I'm, I'm going to coin the term. It's, it's when we want to be present, but we just can't because we are exhausted. Uh, but let's go ahead and clarify the, let's clarify the world. Death card, yeah. You've put an end to some sort of cycle, but it it's more like a rebirth. That's kind of what it's coming through as. So you could be connecting to a Scorpio, but I really believe that that death card is you being in a state of rebirth, right? There are so many things that are new about your life because of the steps that you've taken. And now we just need to acclimate, right? We just need to adjust and allow ourselves to go through this ego death, right? Where we are no longer the person that we were because we're getting very comfortable with who we are right now. It's a beautiful process and it can be very, um, you know, amazing, but it can also be cathartic, right? It could also bring about a lot of emotions. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Strength, which is Leo and Three of Wands. So Three of Wands, I love to see that because it does kind of emphasize that a lot of you have taken great strides to get to where you are now for this new chapter in your life. A lot of you have traveled, you've moved, you've started new things, you've ended things, right? You've done a lot of physical changes um, in your life to get you to this point where you are now. 
And I also feel like the Wheel of Fortune coming through again could also mean that a lot of things are changing for the better, but a lot of them could have been very unexpected. So it's not just adjusting to this new life, but it's adjusting to all of the things that you didn't account for. There, are, Most of them are good things, right? But we, we're still kind of in this shock, in this moment of, oh man, I didn't think that was going to happen. Now I got to make space for it. So it feels like, you know, the, maybe one way I could describe that feeling is like you just move somewhere and maybe you have very like neighborly neighbors and they've gifted you, you know, a whole new dining table, right? You didn't account for that. Now you got to make space for it. It's like, it's a good thing, but it's a lot. And so it feels like that kind of thing. The strength card is also interesting because I feel like a lot of you have done things that you never thought you would do. Um, and this is going to be, of course, unique to the individual, right? And for some of you, if I describe something, that's nothing. But for others of you, it could be a very big deal. But I feel like a lot of you didn't expect to move, right? Or didn't expect to do something that would require such a big change. But here you are. It's happening. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify the Nine of Wands. Page of Wands. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like the page of wands could be that a lot of you are still looking for things to find their place. Like, I feel like for some of you, you could be connecting to somebody that is creating more, let's see, it's like there's more to decide on because of this new addition to your chapter. So for a lot of you, it's not just about moving or it's not just about traveling. It's also about sharing your space. And I feel like when you have to share your space with another person, that comes with additional things to think about, right? Additional decisions that if it was just you, you normally wouldn't have to think about that. So I feel like the universe is like, this is the, this is a curveball. And it's, you know, a, it's more of like a learning curve, I should say, but it's possible. It just, it might take some time to get used to, but it's not a bad thing. So we have the Queen of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you are still learning how to share that space or how to be vulnerable with somebody or how to get used to someone else's company um, in this new stage that you're at. Because I feel like a lot of you um, could be used to a certain way of being. You know, maybe this is the first time that you've, you know, kind of found someone that you are willing to share your time with because they make you happy, right? And so you're still navigating this dynamic. And I feel like a lot of you are, are going to find that it's going to happen naturally, but it still feels like it's a process, right? It's still something you need to learn to do. But it's interesting the way that it's showing up because it feels like it's adding to the plate, but not breaking it, right? So very interesting. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. Queen of Cups could be connecting to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you could also be connecting to a fire sign, another air sign, and another earth sign. So um, yeah, pretty much every, every element is here. So you could be connecting to maybe even a multitude of people. Like I said, the Eight of Wands could be that people are reaching out to you. They're like, okay, Gemini, you're here, you're in town, let's do this, let's do that. You know, it's like, there, there's a lot happening in the area of your social connections where you're just like, oh man, but I just want a break, right? I just want to relax. So King of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Emperor, which is Aries. So yeah, it feels like there's a, a lot of people trying to kind of um, get your attention or spend time with you or do things with you. Wow, okay. Behind the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. So again, lots of social things, lots of, you know, having to spread yourself thin, I feel like there will be a cooling off period for you, Gemini, where it's like you will be able to kind of just relax after all of this is done. But for now, I feel like the universe is like, I, I feel you. I feel your exhaustion, right? Let's, let's do something about that. So let's clarify the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like the universe is giving you a very simple piece of advice here with the Queen of Swords. Kind of like, don't be afraid to... Um, assert your needs, right? Like, don't be afraid to let someone know, hey, I can't do this today, but at some point I will be able to. Page of Cups, Star, which is Aquarius, Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like the universe is saying, be hopeful and that eventually everything will fall into place, but don't forget to love yourself first. I feel like this Page of Cups is definitely the energy of self-love here for you, Gemini. Kind of like if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling spread too thin, if you're feeling kind of like exhausted from all the things that are changing, just remember to cater 
to you, kind of like assert yourself, let people know. Um, and then eventually things will fall into place. That's what that Six of Swords is saying. You've already, you know, kind of done the hard part of like reaching this new territory. I feel like the star is, you know, the universe saying like slowly but surely things will get easier, right? That's what the hope is for. But I feel like you can't force it and then not give yourself enough time to like rest and expect that to work somehow. So kind of like go with the flow basically is what I think this is saying. Go with the flow. Love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.